What's going on guys? Um, really, really short session today. I cut all the working sets basically in half uh, for the main lifts, so I only did two sets of the working weight. And this is going to be pretty similar to how I'm going to structure things moving forward because the training's piling up and I'm just getting really, really fatigued. Um, especially since... Uh, the athletics training is getting more intense and I'm running faster. It's just harder for me to keep up this workload with the weights at the same time. But I'm trying, you know, so it's tough. The um, the exercises themselves felt okay. I probably wasn't hitting full depth on the squats, but um, I'm getting these random pains like in my shins, but not right at the front if that makes sense so like if you imagine maybe halfway down your shin just under the bulk of the calf so yeah midway down the shin but not at the front or at the back like right in the middle it's just very strange like never really felt it before it kind of feels like you know when you get off a plane and like a long flight and you you feel like there's just blood pooling up there in in your lower leg because you've been sitting down for so long it kind of feels like that sometimes which is weird um i know it shouldn't feel like that so i don't know maybe it's just fatigue uh we'll see how it goes the next um couple of days i'm probably going to take it a bit easier do a lot more stretching i'm going to keep the reduced volume for the weights at the moment as long as i'm still hitting the intensities still hitting those uh numbers um that's what matters and just give my muscles a little bit less time under tension but still getting the nervous system to express that force so my training will look a bit more like this in football season so the amount of sets at the working weight will be less but i'll still get there i'll still get up to a top set at a heavy weight so I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is somewhat similar to how some weightlifters train, like they'll work up to a top set and then maybe back it off afterwards, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I've got to look look, look at that. Um, yeah, so I think the um, big positive from this session was that uh, we had progression with the ab wheel rollout, so I did three, no, two sets of six with a 10 kilo weight vest, and I'll tell you that 10 kilo weight vest makes a lot of difference because I weigh 70 kilos, and a 10 kilo vest is like a 14 percent increase in weight, I think, which is pretty significant jump. You know, I probably should have started with a five kilo, but you know provided well uh, if you go from the uh, fact that i didn't fail on the sets of six with the 10 i'll stick with 10 kilos but <sighs> yoink, jesus um yeah the the rdls felt okay as well i mean a little bit of pain in my back um not good pain probably because it's just uh everything's so tight and i'm just very stiff at the moment the nordics uh, felt okay it's just really hard because my hamstrings are constantly fatigued at the moment like I said the athletics training is stepping up a little bit you know I'm running quicker uh, it's just more stress on the hamstring it's just hard to keep it up with the Nordics so this could just be a phase where you know I'm, I'm feeling it a little bit maybe I need to sleep a little bit more uh, I've definitely had you know Oh, here's an Easter egg. That's me shadow boxing for five seconds, but um, yeah, it's um, it's definitely like not the most amount of work I've ever done in a, in a training schedule, but it's definitely up there. You know, I'm, I'm pushing myself myself with you know within the the limits of my mental resilience and physical resilience and robustness. You know, I'm, I've been redlining it for a few weeks now, so. You know, just for a reminder, two weight sessions a week in the gym, two boxing sessions a week, three track and field 
uh, athletic sessions a week and at least one session but most of the time two sessions a week where I'm doing work with a football so that's two plus three plus two plus two six plus three nine sessions a week it's tough um it's it's definitely not a holiday put it that way but um the side lunge just felt okay again just uh sets of six at the moment on the accessory exercises so the side lunges and the weight the weighted vest rollouts i think the weighted vest rollouts are a good step up it's going to really help bridge that gap between the kneeling and the standing rollouts although i'm not sure if there's any other progressions I can put in between, apart from just increasing the weight uh, on the vest, I'll have to I'll have to find another way to load it up. But um, yeah, I think positives and negatives. The negatives is probably that I'm not managing the routine very well in terms of my fatigue and you know ability to perform at 100 percent all the time. But it's just, uh, it's, every athlete has periods like this where they're feeling run down or they're feeling like they're overdoing it or, you know, the recovery isn't 100% matching up with the intensity of training. And so they're wearing themselves down. You know, it's, it's a good thing that I still did the session. It's better to modify rather than to skip it altogether. So we'll see how I'm feeling for the next one. Might just need to sleep a little bit better and we go again so if you've made it this far thanks for bearing with me uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy the content or if you feel that it provides you any value and i'll catch you in the next one